Welcome back, everyone. I'm going to go over what you need to know for next week. We got some stocks out there that are up over 100% in a few days. And I'm not talking just an individual company. I'm talking about major ETFs that have been on fire. But we are in a major overbought situation. And a lot of people have been asking, can they go higher or is it time to short them? We're going to look into them. So much happening out there, and I hope you guys are ready for this week. I will be dropping the newest plays in the Discord. Lots of you joining up, and I appreciate that. For those who have not joined, all you got to do is click this first link. Once you do, you'll be brought here. Pick any of these tiers you would like using code MO at checkout, and you will save 20%. Uh, if you, we got a special limited time offer though for anybody that joins a lifetime royalty. If you do this, and for those joining any of these, you got to click get access. If you go right to pay, you can't put the code in. But if you hit get access, it will pop up where right here you can put in Mo and you will save 20%. But for those who join the lifetime royalty tier only, you will get our brand new options masterclass course which should be released early november and that is on the house that's a gift to us for joining the lifetime royalty but any of the other tiers you could save 20 percent as well and we would love to see you over there now what am i talking about for those who haven't been watching man and i'm not talking about sofi uh some of the stocks have been on fire lately and i i've been telling you look at this one day over the last month alone, yin, you guys remember I brought this to you way back in the day. It's on fire again. 156% up. Are you kidding me? That's what I love to see. Uh, when you got plays that are running like a champ and, and a lot of people wondering, hey, can it keep going? And I always say when you're in doubt, zoom out. You want to see what it could do? Look at this. This is $600 a share. In other words, could it go higher? Absolutely. Uh, China's been in a downturn over the last three years, as obviously. Uh, you can see this, even at this point, it's still down 91.44%. You see it over the last week, up 27%. Last month, 156%. Is there more room for this one? Can it continue to run? I know a lot of you have heated feelings about investing in some of the China plays. What's your thought? I'm going to show you some technicals on this. It's wild to see because you don't usually see what I'm going to show you often. All right. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And of course, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Make sure you hit all uh, right here. Check it out. Do you have any in? Do you have any Chinese stocks exposure? I'm actually curious. So leave a comment. Let me know what you are in. JD, uh, Baba, Neo, Xpeng. Any of those, all right? And this is what we got. If you go back and we take a look, it did not take long for this thing to run like it did. It had a low basically in here on September 10th. From September 10th on, this thing was down, what was it at roughly here? Roughly $19. All the way up to $51 a share. And what I wanted to show you and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do both sides of the fence here. In other words, I'm going to show you the bulls that make you feel good, the bears that make you feel good. All right. Now, I'm not in this at the time of making this video. If you want to know all the moves, like I said, come on over, join the Discord. You'll see everything as I post them out there. We got a lot of action in there, thousands of members, good stuff. I'm going to be doing a lot of blue collar options and white collar options, which is the royalty tier on well tomorrow that's it i'm fired up uh check it out first things first as we get in here you will see you broke the bollinger band we got up the rsi close to 75 did not stop it next day huge gap up major overbought and i gotta be blunt at that point you had the rsi i think roughly 80 something that's where it says short and look what happened the next day it goes from 32 all the way down to 30 six percent drop you gotta feel like it's gonna come down and touch the five or at least the 13 ema no the next day it goes from 30 gaps all the way up to 37 20 something percent up 
From there, you broke the Bollinger Band again, sideways. You actually go from 32, or uh, from, what do we go up to? 37, up to 38. It goes up again. RSI in the 70s. Boom, it goes up again, pushes back down, up again, and then major gap up, major gap down, major gap up. In other words, this thing is overbought at almost an 80 RSI. It's broken the Bollinger Band multiple times, and yet it keeps going higher. Why? Well, it, there is a situation when it comes to yen. The entire economy of China got gas thrown on it. This thing got the quantitative easing a lot of people were looking for. They came out and did their, their to stimulate the economy. They're doing their quantitative easing. And eventually, we knew eventually that the stocks would love it. Now, they tried to do quantitative easing before. Wasn't enough. Oh, but we ran up. Yeah, and we rode it up. We made a lot of money. But what, what happened after that? Wasn't enough quantitative easing. Went from 33 all the way back down to 18. Basically almost 50% down, 40% down. Crazy drop. Then they had to, they realized we didn't do enough. So they came out with the next big push. And they did like that. And it ran all the way up. Now the question becomes, are we going to see more steam on this thing? Is it going to continue to roll up higher? And I, I got to tell you, when you're looking at these charts and you're saying, okay, wow, X is everywhere. Yes. Uh, you can see the last time we had such a situation was right here and down it came. Now I showed you a video or I did a video on treasuries, TMF, Drunken Miller. You guys remember him? He said he wouldn't touch Chinese stocks and he's shorting treasuries. And I did a whole video on that. And if he's not willing to touch them back even before all this, with a run-up where you see these plays moving from 1918 all the way up to the 50s, is there a chance to make money on a short on this? Could we go the opposite way? Could you do put options? There's always a chance. Now, it's hard, you know, when the rock is taken off, it's like catching a falling knife and trying to hope it's going to go up. Well, when the rocket's taking off and you see all these X's, Bollinger Bands being broke, you could have did it right here with the RSI and Bollinger Band and thought 32 is good. It'll eventually drop below. And now we're all the way up in the 50s, 60 something percent up. So in other words, there's no guarantee it won't keep going. I can show you an example. Okay, so we come over here. Let's find an example where you think to yourself, there's just no way. No way that this can keep running like a champ. But there is always a way. And you can see some of these. Like it gets down here to 600, all the way up to 1,000. And you got X's across the board. It can always keep running. You can see the X's. So when you see this little amount right here, understand that there's always the chance that it could keep on running. So no guarantees here, folks, um, but I am watching this. I thought it would be interesting to bring up to everyone and seeing. Now, we look at the U.S. market. I like to go to the queues, and we talked about this. I, I got uh, to tell you, a little bit of concern, but it did turn. You can see, and I got, what I see here is a nice cup, a handle, and now we're starting to gap up. This week's going to be big. The line you really want to overtake is 493 with the Qs. If we can get up to 494 above, I feel good. And that means we would be taking off. And I, the line I have where I think we would hit would be roughly 503. So at this point, get a solid move. And we get confirmation that we're in the right way. 503 is what you're looking at. And I like that setup, boy. I got to tell you, if this goes the way I, I'm hoping it's going to go, we got some good things. Keep an eye on energy as well. You guys know I've been loaded up on that now. Uh, you can see the, the bread bot gave us the alert. For those who have been jumping in with me, we continue to get above the 50 now. And now we wait to see if we get consolidation, maybe a retesting to the 50, and then take off up. So, so much going on out there to pay attention to. And I'm pumped for this week. I got a lot of moves I'll be making. Like I said, for those who have not done it, 
get over there using this first link, click it, put in code MO to save a ton. You get 20% off for a lifetime. And I'm talking, if you sign up for just the monthly, the annual, the lifetime, you'll get 20% off all of it. All right, uh, second thing, if you haven't done this, Moo Moo, click this link, limited time. Put 100 bucks in, but you gotta use my link. You're gonna get five free stocks. If you put in 1,000 or more, you get all 15. The best part of this, you get an 8.1% APY for three months, a fantastic, think about this, risk-free 8.1% APY. Take advantage of that as well. That is going to expire November 30th, so you got a little bit of time, but I would take advantage of this now. All right, family, that's the update for today. I'm pumped. Get over there to the Discord. We will see what kind of moves we can make tomorrow to try to take the portfolios to the next level. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you over there.